Hi everyone, in this short video I am going to show you how to make these sublimation pendants. Um, you can purchase these on Amazon and they uh, have several different colors. Here's a sample one that we made. That one's gold. So let's get started. So, when you get these, you'll get five of each color, five silver, five gold, and five rose gold. And again, this is what they look like after they've been sublimated. There's this side, and there's this side, and the little pennant spins around in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to show you, it comes with the instructions right here. And it'll come in a little package, and this is everything you get. So, what I have done, I've already printed out a uh, picture from the internet because we don't have any baby pictures available like this. And these are approximately one inch square. I'll put that on the uh, information for this video. And we're go the package comes with the necklace and. Where do you open it at? An invisible seam that you can't open it. Here it is. Okay, so it comes with a necklace. The pendant part of the necklace comes with a chain. And you will have two metal sublimation heart blanks. And then it comes with a double sided. Uh, adhesive tape and these will go in there and then you put that on there so we'll set this tape aside for right now and what we're going to do is going to take these and there is a plastic film on them so make sure you take that off very hard to see but it's on there there it is make sure you take that off or you're not going to have very good luck sublimating them Got that one. It's a pain to get it started, but once you get it started, it'll come off. Like I said, you won't even know it's on there unless you start scraping on it. There it is. Okay, so I got the plastic film off. We're going to put this white side down over our image which I made just a little bit bigger than what I needed it to be probably should have made it a little bit bigger than that but you get the idea because a little bit of white will show on this I can see okay then get you a piece of tape and tape it down Tape it down. Okay, once you have that on here, go over to your heat press. Now we got the heat press set at 360 for 60 seconds. When you put this in here, you put it the uh, paper, paper down. down and your little sublimation blanks on top. Then we'll cover this with another piece of uh, butcher paper. And then we'll let it go for 60 seconds and then continue from there. Okay, so our time is almost up. Actually, it's up right now, 60 seconds. We'll go ahead and take these off the press. Make sure you got your heat gloves on. They cool down really fast though, but you still want to use your heat glove to move it to a place to cool. I'll go ahead and shut this off. And uh, while that's cooling, we're going to take this double-sided uh, adhesive, and I've already got one stuck on there. But you got to get, you got to peel off the white some one side off of it, which is very hard to do because it's hard to peel. But I can get it. Okay, so once you just get that off, this has got a sticky side on it. 
And then we're going to stick this right in the heart like that. Kind of get it pressed down really good. Now this is double sided adhesive. So this piece of white paper is actually has to be removed too. It's very clear double sided tape so you should not have any white paper on there. And what I do is I use an X-Acto knife and try and find the edge of this paper. I can see the adhesive is not staying down. So let's try a different location. You don't want to peel the whole thing off without leaving the adhesive on there. You can tell because when you're peeling it off, the back will be sticky, but this is smooth, so the adhesive is still on there. That's sticky. That's yeah. sticky, so that's that's what we want. Then come to the other side. Let's hope this side comes off as easy as the other side did. Just kind of grab the corner, peel it back a little bit. If you start peeling it back and it's still sticky, then you know you're not getting it right. So we'll smash that back down. Kind of just try and make the adhesive stick onto the pendant there. Let's try a different corner. We want to get that white paper off of there, but leave the adhesive on there. There we go. The adhesive is still on there. Okay, and once you get that like that, we're going to take our little sublimation blanks right here. And we will just place it in there and push it down. Just like that. We'll take the other one. Just pull the tape off of it. And turn it over. Place it in there. Push it down. Kind of smoosh it in there. And there you go. Okay, so all that's left to do now is take our chain. And through here. No, we don't want that tape on there. And there it is. You can use it on the side without the, the uh, diamonds or the side with the diamond. And this little locket in here spins around so you can actually have two different pictures if you want to. You have a different picture on each side. But hopefully uh, this will help you sublimate these uh, pendant necklaces. And uh, I have other videos on sublimation. I'd appreciate it if you would uh, like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.